after years, Binance's founder, Shengpeng Zhao, better known as CZ, repeated a promise. Binance.com is embracing regulations all around the world. There was a very strong need for an exchange that wanted to operate everything properly. We welcome a, uh, anyone to look under the hood for our business. I think we, we, we run a very clean business. That his global cryptocurrency exchange would follow the rules, and his company grew. In 2021, its monthly trade volume was greater than the next four biggest exchanges combined. But behind the scenes, Binance was dodging regulations, and some naysayers said that the exchange was a walking time bomb. Now, CZ has stepped down as CEO and pleaded guilty to criminal charges in the US. His company will also plead guilty and agree to pay fines totaling $4.3 billion. Binance became the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Now, Binance is paying one of the largest corporate penalties in U.S. history. Here's how Binance skirted regulations to rise to the top before that same strategy brought it crashing down. I think the value system is a, uh, is a key ingredient that drove us to, to the success very quickly. This is CZ back in 2018. He started the company a year earlier. Within six months, Binance surpassed older exchanges to become the largest exchange in the world by trade volume. That's partly because CZ set Binance's sights on going global early on. But as it grew, Binance ran into regulatory issues almost immediately. First, with its original headquarters in China, where the government banned crypto exchanges soon after Binance was founded. So we generally don't, don't like to go, uh, go up against governments, so we moved out of China. We're actually not, I mean, Tokyo right now, personally. And again, after moving to Japan, which warned the company against conducting trades without a license. And after that, Binance stopped disclosing where it was based. They won't say it's meant to break rules, but basically gave them the edge to serve customers from so many different parts of the world. So Binance doesn't have a bank account, doesn't have an office. Uh, so we're moving away from the uh, company concept. Uh, we're really just an organization or a community that's working together. But that's also when Binance's lack of a home base started to make operations more complicated, especially in the US. About a fifth of Binance's users at the time were based there. Binance's chief compliance officer at the time messaged a colleague, we're operating as a unlicensed security exchange in the USA, bro according to an SEC filing. U.S. regulators are known for being sort of tough and a lot of, and a lot of times like the first to really start looking at something. Um, and it, the tendency is that other countries start following whatever the U.S. does. In order to comply with rules, the company launched Binance U.S. in September of 2019. It says the plan was for the site to use Binance's technology and brand, but operate independently of the original company and CZ. But behind the scenes... It was pretty clear, uh, based on the dialogues, that the intention there was to create a site that was for the U.S. users only, but also, at the same time, allowing U.S. users to continue to tap on the larger website to, to do their trading and bring U.S. money in to the exchange. Both the SEC and the DOJ started investigating the company's actions and sent subpoenas to Binance in 2020. And other countries followed suit. As one of the largest industry players in the, in the world, we welcome regulations. Despite mounting skepticism, the company still continued to grow. At the beginning of 2022, CZ's net worth was estimated to briefly jump to nearly $100 billion, ranking him among CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg and Warren Buffett. He makes it, his persona be quite relaxed and, you know, kind of easygoing. We know, though, that, you know, when he's working and at work, he is pretty tough. And, you know, according to all these U.S. authorities that brought cases against Binance, in fact, CZ is extremely driven to make money. But in 2023, following months of cratering crypto prices and the collapse of FTX and other firms, things began to fall apart. In March, the CFTC sued Binance, alleging that the company was continuing to operate illegally in the US. In May, the company pulled out of Canada, its only major market in North America, citing changes in regulation. Then in June, the SEC filed a lawsuit against CZ and Binance, 
claiming that CZ had continued to maintain undisclosed control over Binance US. More countries began investigations, and the company pulled out of others, particularly in Europe. In July, Binance laid off an eighth of its staff, and a number of core executives left the company. Then in November, Binance planned to pay the Department of Justice $4.3 billion in fines and plead guilty to a criminal charge. CZ pleaded guilty to violating anti-money laundering requirements, a deal that may allow the company to continue operating. However, he will maintain his majority ownership. Rather than implement the basic anti-money laundering safeguards that his team recommended, safeguards required by U.S. law, Binance and its founder operated as though the rules didn't apply. In a statement on X, he said that he is stepping down as CEO and will take a break. He also said that user funds are SAFU, a Binance term implying that they are safe. Richard Tang, Binance's former head of global markets, will step in as CEO. As part of the settlement, Binance will have to comply with several, several rules. And that means you're going to have a lot of uh, a much tougher oversight from U.S. authorities on the exchange. The question now is, can Binance survive without CZ? Binance declined to comment, but said in a public statement, these resolutions acknowledge our company's responsibility for historical criminal compliance violations and allow our company to turn the page on a challenging yet transformative chapter of learning and growth. It's unclear how the fallout of the charges for the world's largest crypto exchange could affect the broader market.